I threw it on the table. But no one would find it. to another episode of Let's Talk About It, a show that I tend to only support once every few months. Now, since I've started this channel back in 2019, I said I was going to take a look at all three forms of media, that being video games, movies, and music. Now, as you guys know, I've done two of those. Now, for the longest time, I wasn't exactly sure when I was going to get to music. And not for a lack of trying, though, until now, because the guys over at Neon Empire were kind enough to give me early access to their debut EP, Distorted Reality. Now, First and foremost, I'm not a very good reviewer when it comes to music or anything, but um, I'm very thankful that they have enough faith in me to actually give me the opportunity to do this. So uh, once again, thank you guys over there at Neon Empire for giving me this opportunity and giving me early access to this album. I hope I can do it justice in this video. So uh, without further ado, let's sit down and take a look at... This, this box is empty, they sent me an email. But wait, I lied! Because before we get to the actual track list, I see that there's a lot of other extra goodies they gave me in this digital package. Let's go through each of them one by one, shall we? So, first and foremost, we have the album artwork, and I really like this. It really gives off a very cyberpunk feeling. Honestly, reminds me a lot of stuff like Ready Player One, or if you guys are really impatient for September, then uh, I guess this is a good holdover from when Cyberpunk 2077 comes out. So, in terms of its visual presentation, yeah, it really gives off a very... Neon! And after that, we got an image of the disc, so uh, I would have personally preferred it if they still kept the purple color scheme that they used for the cover, but this still looks fine. Although, I do say that it is a mistake that they gave me this image, because nothing's gonna keep me from selling this thing illegally on the streets now. And after that, we have the jacket that comes into the CD case. And after that, we got the press shots. Or the, um... Press shot. And after all that, we got a document that has all the lyrics of all the songs, and this is gonna come in really handy whenever I want to do any vocal covers of these songs in the future. And finally, before we head over to the tracks, there is a press release for the EP that gives you a small biography on the band, and the backstory on what they were trying to do while recording this album. And with all that out of the way, let's head on over to the track list. So first up is Closer to the Light. Now this was actually the second song that I actually heard from the band, and in terms of from what I can interpret from the lyrics, this is just a song about battling depression so that we can just try and escape the dark thoughts that can tend to cloud our mind from here and there. I really like songs that have these kinds of deeper meanings to them, and tries to help people and overcome what problems they might be facing at the time. And this is also one of their more heavier songs in the album, but I think that's a good choice, because if you're tackling such a serious and dark topic, I just think a heavier sound can really help to drive that message through. So overall, very good song, I really like it. Next up, This Clarity. And in terms of this song, this has got to be the best first impression I've got out of any band that I ever recall listening to. Because this is the best song on the album, in my opinion. And seeing that this band is still relatively new, the fact that they've managed to actually, for their first single, they actually got a collaboration with Dead by April, that's really impressive. Although I have to say it's very weird hearing Jimmy screaming on this song, you know, seeing that he got... And from what I can tell from the lyrics of the song, it's basically just teaching us that we need to start embracing reality. Our days are numbered, and we just need to stop living in a fantasy. We just need to start embracing reality. And from what I understand, this is a song that's basically about perseverance so that we can try and overcome all the hardships that life tends to throw at us and become better people as a result of that and not trying to live in a fantasy world where nothing is real. So, and I've mentioned it once and I'll mention it again. This is by far the best song on this entire album, in my opinion. It's the very first song I heard from them, best first impression I've ever seen of a band, and this song alone was enough to make me a fan of these guys.
So the next song, The Fallen. Now, I had to reshoot this entire thing because my first take of this entire review was so cringy and was so shit that I have to do this entire thing from the beginning. And at the time of recording this, they say this song was inspired by Silent Hill, of all things. This is the best fucking band, isn't it? Which completely threw me off because I thought this was another song about dealing with depression. But looking at the lyrics after learning this now, it kind of feels like the story in Silent Hill with James Sunderland. So, uh, I'm just gonna let you guys play that game instead so that you guys can get a good understanding about what they were doing with this song. So, it's a good song, but now learning this, this is a completely a 180 from what I thought this was all about. Oh, and the beginning sounds a lot like a slower paced version of this Clarity's intro. Just take a listen. And now after that, we get to Crave. Now, all three of the songs before this was very serious dealt with a lot of serious themes, and besides the fact that the beginning of the song sounds like the start of a video game soundtrack... <laughs> Although now knowing The Fallen was inspired by Silent Hill, that might have been intentional. This song does a complete 180, and this thing is a more of a fast-paced, upbeat party song. Away, And it's actually my second favorite song on the entire album. I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, I'm a very big fan of party songs, and I can also see this as the band's way of just appealing to some people who really don't really care all that much about the deeper meanings and messages behind more serious songs, and just want something to pop into the car, have fun with a bunch of friends, and just have fun without a care in the world. And this song is also a good introduction with what we can expect from the band with a lot less serious material in the future. So, really good job, guys. Really love this song. As I've mentioned, this is my second favorite track on the entire album. Really good job, guys. And seeing that this is an EP, we sadly have to come to our final song, and that is the title track of this entire album, Distorted Reality. And I might not know a lot about music, but can I just say the arrangement of the instruments, the synths and everything is probably the best in this entire album? I mean, just listen to it and you guys might understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it just gets you hyped, doesn't it? And unlike but with Crave, we're back to a much more serious tone, but I feel that the instrumentation does give this song a lot more of a lighthearted tone. And after reading the lyrics and listening to the song, I can see this in a similar vein to this clarity, where it's just teaching us to let go of what we've done in our past, the mistakes we've made, and just look forward to a much more brighter future and become better people out of the experiences that we've learned from it and also to learn how to let go of things that we know are not gonna come true and just look forward to what the future has in store for us. So, once again, a much lighter tone, but still a very powerful message behind it, and really, a lot of people who would be dealing with these kinds of issues can really learn a lot from this song, so that if you did make a bunch of fuck-ups in your past, it's never too late to let go of what you've done and just look forward to what the future has in store and try and become a better person off of that. And I can also say without a doubt that this is my third favorite song off the entire album. 
just because of how well the instrumentation is with it, the lighter tone that it has, and still how it still manages to tell a much more serious story and try and help a lot of people that deals with the themes that this song is trying to tackle. So, once again, very good job, guys. And now with that out of the way, that just leaves me with my final opinion. Well, if you guys couldn't tell when I was talking about everything, this is absolutely an amazing EP. They've told me in the past that they think focusing on less songs just ensures that there's a lot more quality. And after listening to that, I wholeheartedly agree. And I think a lot of people can actually enjoy this album, whether or not you want something with very heavy and deeper meanings or just a fun song to just party with a lot of friends. So, it's been a while since I've done this, but uh, the guys over at Neon Empire, I have to thank you guys once again for uh, giving me early access to this EP. For the very first EP, you guys really did something amazing. And with a lot of the songs, I see a lot of people can, you know, take inspiration from that. Uh, it can really help a lot of people and it's just something a lot of people can have fun with and enjoy listening to. So uh, without further ado, it's been a while since I've given an award because the last few things I've done wasn't really necessarily review related, but this EP gets the golden microphone. So um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you guys so much over there at Neon Empire. Really, really enjoy this album, it's, you guys really did a good job and uh, I will link all their information in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and check them out and give them the support that they deserve. So, so here's to an awesome debut EP and I hope you guys really can follow up with something equally or even better than what you guys did now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm John from the channel with a freakishly long name. This has been another episode of Let's Talk About It and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing and I'm gonna leave you guys with a surprise I made it on my own. Here's my new outro. See you guys next time.